So remember that here on the AQ, it is open to everyone and we've got a nice sprinkling, a good mix between the student community and the corporate world on this particular round from the West Zone. Let's meet our teams. First up, we've got a team coming in from Mumbai. There are two corporates there, Siddharth Banerjee who returns to the AQ and with him uh, a new teammate, Jagrati Bhadra. Siddharth with Viacom 18 and Jagrati with Reliance Power. Good to have you. Right next to them, uh, we've got a team coming in from uh, the Medicaps Institute of Technology and Management at Indoor, Akshay Bhaktiwal and Apurva Bharadwaj. Welcome guys, all the best to you. The third team is from the Jawaharlal Nehru Engineering College, Abhijit Kalikar and Dheeraj Kupe. Very best to you and uh, last but not least, an automaker, Ford Motor Company, coming in from Ahmedabad, Hudson George and Varun Narayan. Good to have you as well and uh, maybe, just maybe, that uh, gives you a little bit of an advantage, right? An automaker, but you know what? The level of competition we've seen over the last six seasons, if that's anything to go by, perhaps that's not an advantage enough because everybody here seems to know, well, a whole lot more than I do, that's for sure. Very first round is KYC, Know Your Car. Eight iconic cars over time that are going to be coming up on a grid on this big screen. We are going to start off with uh, Mumbai first. So you get a bit of an advantage in that you have eight to choose from. Take a look at the options. The options on your screen, the Ford Model T, the Chevy Camaro, Lotus Esprit, Lamborghini Miura, Land Rover Defender, the Bentley Continental GT, Toyota Camry, and the Mercedes McLaren SLR. What about you? Model T. The Model T, they're gonna go right away with the very first one. Here's your question. Launched in 1908, in which year did the Model T cease production? Uh, 1929 around that time. 1929, around that time. I must quickly clarify that we've got 200 kilometers for the right answer. And 100 kilometers on a pass, there is no negative marking. And in this case, it passes because that is incorrect. MITM, any answer? So 1990. 1990, no, Ford would have loved that, but not quite. I don't think any regulations would have allowed that. 1935? 35, lots of guesses, no. And Ford, let's Is see. it 1928? Is it 1928? They said 29, you said 28, and the correct answer is 27. The second one is now for uh, MITM. Take a look, seven options still there. So Land Rover Defender. The iconic Land Rover Defender. And your question. The Defender was introduced in 1983 as the Land Rover 90 and the Land Rover 110 specific models that came in 1983 as the 90 and the 110. What did these numbers represent? Pass. Passing to Aurangabad. No answer. Pass. Ahmedabad. Uh, is it uh, the uh, engine capacity in cubic? Is it the engine capacity? It isn't. We go to Mumbai. Uh, is it the uh, uh, power in uh either HP or in kilowatt basically. No, it's just the wheelbase. It's the difference in wheelbase that we were looking for in inches. JNEC, please tell me your choice. Lamborghini Miura. Ah, the beautiful one. Okay, the Miura was originally fitted with tires from which tire maker? Uh, Pirelli. Pirelli, that sounds like a big guess. So why Pirelli? So, because Lamborghini has a Predominantly used trail it has. Maybe and that. that logic works just fine. That's the right answer. Absolutely right. 200 kilometers. Okay, Ford, let's have your choice. Toyota Camry. In the Camry sedan, which is the first series where it was available as a petrol electric hybrid? The fourth generation. Fourth generation, you said that is incorrect. Question passes to Mumbai. 2005, uh, fifth generation. 2005, fifth generation is also not right. So seventh MITM. generation. Seventh generation, lots of guessing again, JNEC. Sixth generation. Sixth generation, <laughs> I mean, somebody said four, they said five, seven. The one that's left is six. Looks like luck is on your side because that is actually the right answer. That is the right answer. And uh, that brings us to the end of this round, and we'll talk about scores in just a while. Let's straight away go to round two. 
Round two is called Carpool. It holds you in good stead if you're a regular viewer of CNB or NDTV's The Car and Bike Show. We will have clips from the show play out. The question will be based on that clip. Now, the scoring in this particular round is a little bit interesting because you have 200 kilometers for the right answer. There are direct questions. But uh, in case you get the answer wrong, you have the chance to decide which team to pass it on to. And if they get it right, you get to split 100 kilometers each. So there is still that little backup to score some points. They're going to change the order and start with Ford. Let's take a look at your clip. Now, a minivan is not the sexiest car to usually start things off with, but this is not just a significant model for Renault, but it's also perhaps one of the sexiest minivans we've seen in quite a while. The whole idea is to try and go away from being just a van or a seven-seater and go into being a bit of a crossover. So, question I have, what is that new global model from Renault? Nissan Lordi. All right, it's a model from Renault that I was looking for. However, you have that little backup. Who do you want to pass it to? Yeah, team number one. Team number one. Team number one, that's Mumbai. So you have an answer? Espace. The Espace is the French like to call it. And that is right. The new generation of the world's first minivan, the Espace. And uh, so good job. You helped them out. You got 100 kilometers each. The second clip from CMB for JNEC. There's 138 markets that are serviced by this plant and get this, 137 of them account for 60% of the production. Alright, so as you heard me saying there, 138 markets being serviced by that plant. I'll tell you the plant in question, that's the Tuscaloosa plant which makes SUVs for Mercedes-Benz in the US, in Alabama. So, 137 make up 60% of the production. One market makes up 40% of the production. What market? European market. European market would be a lot of countries. So, of course, that's not right. Now, go ahead and do your splitting. Uh, with team one. Okay, back to you, Mumbai. Uh, it's production, right? So, I think I'm guessing Germany because that's the home uh, of Mercedes. All right, that's incorrect. So, nobody gets anything. It's China. China, which absorbs everything like a big black hole. It's China which of course accounts for 40% of that SUV production. Models like the R-Class are made there, and they only now go to China, they're not sold anywhere else. The clip now for MITM. We are uh, present in Peru, Ecuador. Uh, we're starting uh, to build a new manufacturing facility, uh, but Brazil clearly is the largest market in Latin America, and we cannot stay out of Brazil. All right, so that was the uh, vice chairman and the managing director of Hero Motor Corp, Pavan Munjal, speaking to me in Sao Paulo, talking about the importance of the Latin American space. He mentioned a few markets there, but my question very specifically, where in South America is Hero building a plant for its production? Argentina. Argentina is not right. Again, you get to pass it. Ford team. All right, they're going to go across to Ford. Brazil. Brazil is not right. It's Colombia. Colombia is the right answer. Now the clip for Mumbai. Iconic, exclusive, but still pricey. This is the kind of general perception the Italian scooter brand Vespa has established in India. The question I have for you, Vespa is owned by Piaggio, as you must know. Please name any two other two-wheeler brands that are owned by Piaggio. I think Gilera and Moto Guzzi. That's right. Absolutely right. I just wanted to sweat it out for a little bit. Of course, you have uh, Piaggio itself, which is a two-wheeler brand. And uh, besides that, there's Aprilia. So 200 kilometers. So that's uh, pretty much the end of round two. Now, let's take a look at the scores. So MITM is still where we started, Ford ahead by 100 kilometers and you got the other two teams tied with 300 kilometers apiece at this point. Straight away heading then into round three. The Thar is a favorite for those who want a rugged Jeep and today it is the vehicle of choice when it comes to this round. Now, all of our participants, just like every other week, have spent some time with this vehicle today. They've also had the opportunity to get a bit of a brief on it. And uh, 
also the freedom to go online and pretty much figure out everything they want to know about the thar. All the questions will be based on this stuff. All right, folks, it is a buzzer round, so uh, warm up those hands. And it's 200 kilometers for the right answer, but it's minus 100 for the wrong answer. So we are introducing negative scoring for the first time. Please listen to my question carefully. The first question, how much power does the CRDE engine of the Thar? Yes, Ford. It is 105 BHP. 105 BHP, that, uh, of course, you didn't let me complete the question, but that's the right answer. 105 BHP. Mm. equals 200 kilometers in your case. So, good job. The second question. What's the name of the four-wheel drive system that comes as a... All right, this time it's Mumbai. This is from Borg Warner transfer case, basically. The Borg Warner four-wheel drive system. Right answer, 200 kilometers. <laughs> now listen to this one a little closely. The SAR is available in five colors. You've got the white over here today. But my question, what's the name that's been given to the beige color? Right, Ford. Is it Rocky Beach? Is it Rocky Beige? It is Rocky Beige. 200 kilometers. Excellent. You looked at that brochure closely. All right, the last question. The design of the Thar is based on which iconic vehicle from Mahindra? I'm not going to complete the rest. MM540. Mumbai it's says MM540, and Mumbai is right. Dominating this round, the teams from Ahmedabad and Mumbai, and getting a nice little haul there. And uh, with that, we're going to jump straight into a very short break. We come back with 20 minutes. Welcome back to the AQ here on the NDTV network. We've had a nice fast-paced round three, so why keep you away from the action? Let's go straight to our next round. Now, the round is called Go Green, so of course, environmentally friendly frame of mind is what we want to get you into. The scoring pattern in this round, a little bit tricky, so we've got to listen to this one carefully. It is 200 kilometers for the right answer, but while the team that is answering the direct question is giving us the answer, if any of the rest of you think that you know the answer, hit your buzzer. The penalty though is that if you hit the buzzer and get it wrong, you lose 100 kilometers. On the plus side, if you get it right, you also gain 200 kilometers. All right? So that's the way it's going to work. However, if the team that hits the buzzer also gives me an incorrect answer, we will continue to pass the question in the order to the remaining two teams. And then you could get 100 kilometers on the pass, no negative marking. So let's begin, go green. As I said, we'll start with Mumbai. So the direct question for you. Which plug-in hybrid car is the first ever series production car to be delivered with laser headlamps as standard? Uh, is it the Chevy Volt? All right, we have a buzzer from Ford, but tell me your answer again. Chevy Volt. The Chevy Volt is not right. So we go across to Ford because you have the buzzer. The BMW i8. The BMW i8. What makes you think that's the one I'm talking about? It's got LED, head, uh, sorry, laser headlamps. And you know that for a fact. Yeah. And you're right. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely right. The second direct question is for MITM. The Zen Rally, which is run by the Automobile Club de Monaco, is held in Monte Carlo for purely electric vehicles with a range of less than 250 kilometers. What does ZEN stand for? That's Z-E-N-N. -N. I need to know the full form of that acronym. No guesses, pass. All right, they're passing it. Nobody hit the buzzer, so we go to JNEC. No negative marking, any guessing? No? All right, Ford. Zero engine noise. All right, but that's... I need Z-E-N-N, -N, so... Natural, oh, natural... Natural noise. <laughs> that doesn't work, does it? Zero engine noise. All right. You know what, I'm going to give it to you. 100 kilometers, zero emission, no noise. So you were pretty close. I will give you that. Ready, NM, zero emission, no noise. Direct question now for JNC. In 2014, which car was rated as the fastest green car by the Automobile Association of America? 
Also known as Triple A. Is Rena Elob? No, that's not right. The buzzer came from Mumbai, so yes. Uh, Tesla Model S. Tesla Model S. I did say America. That is right. Absolutely right. So, 200 kilometers to Mumbai. The last direct question in this round goes to Ford. Which European country has the largest per capita electric vehicles in the world? Is it Norway? Is it Norway? The country is always mentioned when you talk about green cars because of all the initiatives from the government. And so it does indeed have the highest per capita fleet. Absolutely right, 200 kilometers. Once again, to Ford. Now remember, we get to uh, have a very special call-in that happens at this stage of the quiz. Uh, I get to call one of you, one of our lucky viewers, to take part in the AQ as well. Today, that lucky viewer comes to us from Mumbai and uh, I'm going to be calling Ishan. Let's give him a ring. Hello. Hi Ishan, this is Siddharth joining you from uh, the Mahindra AQ set. Uh, hi Siddharth. Alright, so I'm firstly going to say thank you for joining us and being a part of this today. And uh, your question, in the name of auto design firm DC Design, what does DC stand for? Uh, Dilip Chabria, right? Dilip Chabria, right? Yes, it is right. Absolutely right. So you get yourself some Mahindra AQ goodies that will be of course sent across to you. So thank you so much and it was great to have you here on the show today. Oh, thanks a lot, sir. All right, so that's how it works. Remember that if you're registered on the AQ website or sent me a tweet, then you could be one of those lucky viewers that we are going to be calling. Could be you next week. All right, let's move on now to our last round. This is where things get really exciting. We call it, uh, of course, Drive Safe. So our last round is a buzzer round, of course. It is a high scoring round as well. Eight questions will come at you. Each of those questions is worth 100 kilometers. If you give me the wrong answer though, you lose 100 kilometers. But if you're confident of the answer, you can triple. Just tell me that you want to accelerate and you can go to 300 kilometers for the right answer. However, if you do that and you will give me a wrong answer, you lose 200 kilometers. Lots can happen in this round. The first question. Land Rover has collaborated with which well-known British gun maker to make the most expensive Range Rover? BSA. BSA isn't right. It's Holland and Holland. It's good you didn't triple that. Question two. And this one's coming from a friend of mine. Take a look. Hi Siddharth. My question is, Aptovaz and Gaz are the largest car manufacturers of which country? Okay, it's Mumbai with the buzzer. Accelerate. Yes. It's Austria. But the right answer is Russia. Autovaz and Gaz are from Russia, not from Austria. Anyway, which Formula One champion was nicknamed the Shunt? It's Ford. Pastor Maldonado. It's not Maldonado. I think you wanted to accelerate, so it's good you didn't. James Hunt. Shunt. All right, the next question. In automobile terminology, which six-letter word defines a type of car tire with wires inside that make it firmer and safer? Yes, MITM. Triple. Yes, you want to triple, go ahead. Twill. Twill, they say. No, radial. Radial is the right answer, so you lose 200 there. Now, the next question. From 2001 to 2014, the winner of the motorcycle group at the Dakar Rally has used which brand of bikes? No one with the buzzer. All right, Mumbai. Uh, KTM. KTM, 100 kilometers to you. All right, question number six comes from yet another friend of mine. Please take a look. What is the new Porsche 911 rival from Mercedes? It's the AMG GT. It's the AMG GT, 100 kilometers. Right answer. The next question. Chase Life is the tagline or motto for which new? Auto yes. KTM. Alto K10 Sunny says one. Mumbai is right, 100 kilometers. And finally, the last one. If hogs are owners of Harley Davidson, hmm, I wonder what the rest of that question is. <laughs> it's uh, Royal Enfield. We are tripling it, Royal Enfield. It was a good gamble, but it wasn't the good, good one to get because rats from Triumph is what I was looking for there. And it was a good try, but I'm afraid that means you're 200 down and that is the end 
of today's quiz. Let's take a look at the scores. So the final scoreboard then, MITM had to go for it, ends up with minus 200. JNEC stays put at 300 kilometers. And finally, it was Ford with 700 kilometers and Mumbai with 1,000 kilometers. Many congratulations. All right, so uh, before we can go ahead and uh, celebrate those winners, let me invite Mr. Rajiv Goyal, the Senior Vice President, Finance and Accounts at Mahindra's Automotive Division to please join us. Good to have you. And now if I could uh, go ahead and invite the winning team to join us as well. Your experience today and what do you make of all the teams? The kind of uh, passion and energy which all the teams showed was quite amazing. Ultimately, some, some team had to win, but they have come across and they have come to this level that also shows that they are also the winners. But congratulations to the winners, ultimately. A round of applause to all the teams and many congratulations. That's the kind of drama and action you see here on the AQ, the West Zone Final once again proving to be quite an exciting one. And we still have one more of our regional final rounds that will come to you next week right here on the NDTV network, South Zone. Watch out for that. We hope it's just as exciting. Thanks for joining us.